With bad weather coming our way, we are forced to make double time on the work we need to get done around the property. So today, we dust off the Alaskan chainsaw mill and we get to work making slabs of wood that will soon be used for an insulated floor in the cabin. No, put it in uh put it in the back of the on the back of the four wheeler here. There you go. We get asked pretty often about our chainsaw that we use for our mill. Our main chainsaw is a steel 291 with a 20 inch bar and we just use a normal cross cut chain. We've never noticed the difference in the cross cut versus the ripping so we just kind of stuck with what was readily available at the store. Uh, and here we are since we basically spent every last penny we had on this property we're left to manage the logs by hand. We make quick work of it though, just by lifting the logs up and getting them off the ground and, and really milling them where they fell. We still kind of have to raise them a bit, but then once we do, we're off to the races. We are keeping the live edge scraps from the first and last cut so that we can use them on the siding to give the appearance of a log cabin for design. Nothing's going to go to waste. You can see here that normal cross cutting chain is actually taken quite a bit off. The only difference that you're going to get is the quality of the surface of the board. So we got an issue. Oh. So we're over here milling and forgot to cut the planks to set up. So now we're trying to figure out <laughs> what we use. We're, yeah, why not? I think it just needs to be able to create some air separation. So put that in the middle right here. Not, uh, that's probably not the best stick in the world. I but don't think so. It'll probably work. Just go ahead and stick it on top of the other one. After we figured out what we were going to do for the spacers for our stack of planks, we had one more board to cut, after which we decided to go and take a break. See, we have to remind ourselves sometimes that we purchased the property to have fun, and fun is what we found. Dodo. Dodo. Oh. You guys ready to go for a walk? All right. Come on. After a short little walk, we remembered that we had a four-wheeler. So with the pond frozen and the ice skates not around, we decided to hit the lake and see if we couldn't do some four wheel drive donuts. Man, I wanna go now. I wanna go now. And just like that, it was time to get back to work. We had one more log to mill and we could wrap up for the day. But before we could start back up, we had to sharpen the chainsaw to ensure we got the best cut possible. This is something that you're gonna get used to if you mill quite a bit. So before we can end, one of the things that we do is collect the sawdust and we use this in our outhouse and our composting toilet. So be sure to check out that video too here as well. I should get Man, that's a lot. 
Well, that's it for today. Uh, we got nine boards out of this one log and I'm pretty satisfied. It didn't take us too long, maybe about two hours. Uh, that seems like a long time, but when you're making your own wood, it, time goes by, it's kind of fun. But uh, so again, this wood's gonna be used for the floor as well as the siding on the cabin. And if you guys don't wanna miss that, be sure to hit that subscribe button because that video is gonna be coming up here pretty soon. Hopefully we get to start that project here soon. And if you guys haven't seen any of the other videos on making a table or just kind of videos around the property, go ahead and visit our channel and you can go back in time and just kind of see how we got where we got. Um, and I'd appreciate if you uh, hit that like button and uh, share away. And, and again, uh, it helps out if you guys subscribe. So until next time, guys, stay safe, stay warm, and I will see you guys later. If you have any questions about the Alaskan chainsaw mill, the type of chain, the type of chainsaw, the, the mill in general, the wood you cut, be sure to leave them down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.